Okay, today is February 19, 2013. Uh, let me uh, quickly uh, get a, uh, you know, just a uh, brief, uh, brief look at the uh, the market index before uh, go in and uh, take a look at uh, one of our favorite stock, uh, Facebook. Uh, first of all, looking at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 uh, make another 52-week high uh, today, and it closed at uh, 1530.94. Although it's still shy of the uh, all-time high of 1565.15 uh, uh, that was uh, closed on uh, October 9, 2007. But uh, you can see uh, we are still uh, seeing uh, continuing negative uh, diversion on the MACD while the uh, price on the S&P continue to uh, marching higher. But uh, can uh, can argue about the uh, you know the the, the price uh, if it uh, the market want to uh, forge ahead. You basically just have to uh, either uh, move along with it, or you move to the sideline instead of uh, fighting against it. So, uh, and uh, we take a look at the uh, Dow Jones 30 Industrial. The Dow Jones 30 is also on a 52-week uh, uh, closing high here at 14,035.70. Uh, although it's not, uh, you know, some of the intraday high is higher than today's, but uh, it's the close that uh, we are interested in. And again, you know, you can see that there's a uh, negative MACD divergence there. And similarly, on the uh, Dow Jones Transportation, another uh, all-time high. In matter of fact, it's not a uh, just a 52-week high, because any new 52-week high right now is uh, basically as a uh, all-time high for the Dow Jones Transportation. Similarly, with the other two indexes, uh, we are seeing a negative uh, MACD divergence. And then the Nasdaq 100, we uh, did not get a 52-week high because of the uh, some of the pressure uh, been dragging uh, by uh, Apple. But uh, you know, it's getting up to uh, this baseline here. Uh, we also see a slump, like uh, uh, negative diversion on the MACD. Uh, this uh, could be uh, you know continue to uh, trend higher as the market, uh, the rest of the market uh, uh, continue to move higher. And then the Russell 2000, again the Russell 2000 is in the same boat as the uh, Dow Jones uh, Transportation. Any new 52 week high essentially is a, a new uh, all time high. So you can see um, it closes at uh, another no new all time high at 932. And uh, again, you know, we're seeing a little bit of a negative uh, MACD divergence. So uh, those are the uh, market indexes and the, uh, the theme is, is continue to march uh, higher uh, even though uh, a lot of people is uh, anxiously waiting for a pullback but the market will never be that accommodating and as soon as uh, these uh, anxious bear uh, give up or the uh, the sideline dip buyer uh, uh, can uh, just stand on the sideline uh, continue to watch uh, prices uh, uh, forging higher and higher they just have to uh, dive in then uh, that's uh, when we most likely will see uh, some sort of pullback once those uh, uh, you know uh, market participants get sucked in. So uh, with that said, let's uh, go and take a look at uh, Facebook. Uh, here's the uh, daily chart on the Facebook here, and I essentially have uh, drawn a couple of uh, you know a price channel here, uh, and also this uh, you know 36 uh, level that we uh, sort of been watching for quite a while. And if I take out that, uh, let me take out this uh, this line here, and you can see that we also have a uh, sort of rising 50-day moving average, and the 20 EMA is coming down here. So we got a little uh, confluence at this uh, inflection point here, and you can see right now today the price seems to be uh, you know uh, move back up above the 50-day uh, moving average, and. Uh, you know, it's trying to break above this level here, this uh, uh, near this 29, you know, 29.17, 29.20 area here. So, uh, you know, it's, I think there's a lot of people probably watching for a uh, a break uh, above this and, and probably re-enter. Uh, essentially, it's bouncing off of this, uh, you know, trend line here on the uh, price channel. So, if you're a little bit of an uh, aggressive uh, trader and uh, all those that uh, like to trade off of the uh, the support, you know, bounce of support. Uh, you know, today, today could be a good entry, you know, at this point here, or you could wait for a little breakout, you know, the 2920, and maybe a stop somewhere uh, below this uh, trend line here. You know, so essentially, uh, you know, we're basically uh, looking at, uh, 
you know, this uh, this area as the uh, the stop level, and if you could enter here, or you could wait until uh, it get above here, then play this scat fill, and essentially uh, we're looking for this thing to uh, try to break above that 32 once again. I know we've been uh, sort of waiting for it for uh, quite a while, and if the other thing is to uh, look at is uh, let's uh, put up the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool. Uh, let me take these out. Let me take these trend line out so make it a little bit clear and also take out the moving average for now. And if we uh, use the uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement tool, yeah, I'm essentially going to use this pivot point and this here, this uh, this break point here. So I uh, get this and we extend this out. And you can see that the uh, you know the price came up and sort of retraced back down to the 618 or the uh, you know. Uh, 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 retracement level here, you know, essentially it's a 33% uh, retracement or 38% retracement here, right, from the top. It's just that this level here, you can reverse it if you want to, it really doesn't matter, right. And uh, it de depending on the tool, some some of the tool that they have, these, uh, this would be zero and this would be 100 and so forth. But uh, again, it's basically it's the uh, sort of like a one third re retracement. And you can see that it came down here, and then now start bouncing. If we see this price break above this, uh, you know, 100% retracement or the Fibonacci retracement at this uh, 32.50 level here, you know, essentially this this high, which is 32.51, then uh, if we, uh, uh, you know, looking at it, uh, you know, sort of a, 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 a you know a symmetry move, essentially what we're saying is, you know, we're getting uh, this move here. And if we um, take this major move and put it here, then essentially it will be a hundred percent, right? Right here, this is a hundred percent. And if we take uh, six one eight and uh, add a hundred percent to that, then it will be uh, essentially uh, you know, up here, this uh, one six one, right? So we'd be looking at somewhere around the uh, you know forty one eighty eight or forty two level here, and essentially that would be uh, one of the possibility. If the uh, if this time Facebook actually break above this level, so we're we're essentially playing for this, right? This the, this uh, this break here, right? If we get up uh, even just the uh, price channel coming up to the price channel, we probably would get this uh, 36 uh, level here at this 127. So uh, that's the look of the uh, Facebook for now, and uh, you know certainly uh, there's some possibility. But again, again we seeing a a slight uh, price uh, uh, MACD diver negative divergence here, and maybe uh, you know with this shakeout on this pullback, it probably uh, you know resolve this thing. So we essentially have to see when the price uh, break above the 32.50. We want to see the MACD come up and at least get above this high here. Then uh, you know that would uh, give us a little bit more of a uh, technical confirmation that uh, this breakout is for real. But again. You know, there is that underlying on the market uh, that uh, we're seeing a lot of those uh, negative MACD diversion where the price keep on going up. Uh, we've got to be uh, uh, beware that, you know, uh, if the market uh, decide to uh, have a little pullback or correction, and, you know, it could uh, easily uh, also influence and, uh, and then take out, you know, drag uh, Facebook uh, down along with it. So essentially, you know, we just have to. Uh, be careful and be aware of that. And if the, you know, those uh, those things drag this price down and get back down to the, uh, you know, uh, break this uh, trend line and start breaking down to a 24, uh, and the negative momentum start to build, we might want to just kind of wrap it up again and take a lump and wait for another day. I mean, these, uh, you know, the trading uh, game is uh, essentially is a number game, so uh, we just have to. Uh, you know, keep on looking for these setup, and uh, you know, if this time doesn't work out, maybe next time. So uh, good luck to you.